Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm so honored that you are back. I'm just going to dive right into the Sacred Chakra Spiral. The, the cards that were picked. Let me get my glasses. If this is your first time, I should introduce myself. I am Astrolight. Once a month, I like to do around the new moon, the sacral chakra spiral. I go through all the seven chakras, the card, and I pick seven decks. So, oh my gosh. So the card that came up was integration, and it does not have a book that comes with it. And it's number 11, 1111. If you've been seeing a lot of 11s around, Ah, so amazing. So integration is the card that came up. And if I, if you look back, I always do an attunative channeling in the beginning. This time I'm going to go ahead and read. But this deck does not have a book. and But I will just say it's an angel card. If you've been calling in your angels and asking for guidance... That is the best way to do it. We've been seeing a lot of doves, a lot of white birds flying in the sky, just giving you signals. The desire to be at home is, is, is in balance with the desire to go out and be adventurous. One and a one, two, yin and the yang, do both. Be home. Sit with self, be present with yourself, and cook, clean, <laughs> nurture thyself. But plan on a, a hiking trip or plan a getaway, a staycation. Do something adventurous. Be adventurous. Go skating, roller skating. That keeps coming into my energy. So I'm going to go ahead and do the second card. So that was the root chakra, integration. Integrate with others. Integrate with yourself. Good habits that, that really resonate with your heart. So I'm going to go to the sacral. And I'm going to go ahead and read. And the card that came up was, because this one has a book, I want to do two with this one. Refine your attention. Number four. Stability, stability, stability. Four legs. Refine your attention. I'm going to read this. The more that your soul begins to exercise direct influence over your conscious mind, the more you will feel the importance of examining your present attitudes and behaviors. Are they um, re repetitive? To your spirit, receptive, repetitive. Oosh, receptive to your spirit and your higher self. And supportive for inspiration and assistance of, from the other side. Or do, you cut, or do they cut you off from your sources, shut out your direction, and cause you to ignore your guidance? Fear comes into play. If, you, if there's a time when you just feel... So, no worthy, not worthy of who you come here to be. No confident, fearful. When we can really step into our our power, knowing thyself, a lot of that washes away. A lot of that clears away. Remember the first time when you were confident. Remember the first time when you were fearless. Sometimes we have to, like, step back into those moments and remembering what that felt like. This card, all this deck, oh, she always gets right to the point. Recognize limiting attitudes and behaviors that make you feel isolated and leave you in pain and frustration. Observe how you focus your attention and what's consuming your mental energy. Do your thoughts center on what supports you on both the practical and the spiritual level? Are you scattering your energies on useless imagination 
and the lab um the hip um elaborating thoughts. So the soul's purpose message. Right now is re is right now is is the well, let me get that right. Right now is to refine your attention to a higher, more focused attention so that you can use your divine power to create in a more effective and rewarding way. Your soul's lesson. Recognize how your present focus grows in your garden called your life. I love that. I love that analogy, the garden. It is your bearing fruit, or it is it overrun with weeds? This is so beautiful. Yes. I'm always talking about cultivating that garden within and planting seeds so that you can harvest, which would be your dreams. Plant many seeds. I hope this resonates with your heart. I hope it gives guidance to your, your, your spiritual journey and your day. I'm always happy and honored that you have come. Namaste. My heart to your heart.